Hey guys, Robert here for my 100th video. Uh, I'd just like to say thanks to everyone who stuck around and watched my videos. Uh, some specific people, uh, John, um, Nips, Ron, who no longer does YouTube anymore, unfortunately, June, Kim, all my friends who inspired me. And um, with this 100th video, I'd like an announcement. So, you may recall, or you probably remember, how I said that the Ruby thing was simply the end of Pokemon on my channel. Though, that, uh, that, that's not, that's, that may not be entirely true, because as of, as of late, I've decided, um, due to some ma major problems with the Pokemon War Network and my lack of ability to log back in, I have decided to instead make my 100th video yet an a beginning to another Pokemon LP. Now, I, and, uh, so let me just open up to that real quick. Alright, so here we are. Yes, it is indeed Pokemon, like I just said. And if you can't tell at this point what it is, I'll just let you watch the intro. <laughs> yeah, so I have decided to do Pokemon Fire Red version, as you can see here. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about this. You may have, or may have not been excited about moving the, all my Pokemon to the other channel. I don't, uh, some of you may have just not cared. But, unfortunately, due to problems with my other channel, uh, I've, well, I guess, fortunately for this channel, I'm going to continue doing Pokemon. So, here we go. So, this is basically, like, the controls and stuff. So, uh, it just teaches you how to move the character and stuff and stuff and, like, just basic controls of the game. There's a little Pikachu dancing in the corner right over Khmyo. Um, yeah. New pass will be open by helping people. It just tells you your, like, the slot, the, the plot, kind of, just how to play. And here we have Professor Oak. Um, hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. For other, others use them as battling. For battling, as for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. All right. So uh, I'm a guy. I'm a baller. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a bee. Rob. Wait. Rob. Alright, Rob. I'm using Rob instead of Robert because fuck yeah. Rob, my name's Rob. Uh, there is his grandson, been Rob since you're babies. His name is Gary Mofo Oak. But, just for entertainment purposes, I'm going to name him after my good friend. Oh crap, which one of my good friends do I name him after? Do I name him after a real friend or YouTube friend? Give me a second. Alright, I've, I've decided his name's going to be, uh, Timmy. Because he is my friend and he is super cool. And I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Oh my god, I suck. Timmy. Uh, his YouTube channel is Gweeganator2. He does League of Legends videos. They're actually really baller. Like, you should check him out if you like League of Legends. Yes, his name is Timmy. Not really, but that's what we're calling him. Rob, your very own Pokemon Legends is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon uh, un awaits. But, yeah. Alright, so uh, this is our quaint little room. Oh, sick, a Nintendo 64. I have, I have two of these. That's awesome. It's actually pretty swagsome. Alright, um, yeah, but I actually have two N64s. I have a see-through green one and a black one. So, uh, I collect the Nintendo devices. I have all of them currently except for the Game Boy Color. Which, well, I guess and then. I have the NES. I don't have the NES or the Game Boy Color. So that's it. Uh, there should be a potion in here, just like in a lot of games. Uh, and I'm not going to fast forward through the tutorial, except for the stupid parts. So, this is your room. It's very quaint, yes. Uh, that was very important. Let me read the sign. Posted notice. If you're confused, ask for help. Press the L or R button in this game not, in my emulator not existent. Because I didn't really feel like setting it. So, this is my mom. Mom. Alright. All leave boys. All boys leave home someday. Oh yes, I saw so on TV. Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Alright, swag. 
I'm gonna look around the city first. So, um, we're a town of, uh, more houses than people, so, or more people than houses, like, one, two people, uninha like, homeless people in a city of three houses. This house over here is Gary Oak's house that doesn't have a room or anything. This is his sister Daisy. Hi, Rob. My brother Timmy is out at Grandpa's lab today. This is Timmy's sister. Um, she's looking at a Canto map. This is the lab. But first, you know what? We're gonna try and break the game rules and leave the town. Psych! That's what we were supposed to do. But, um, yeah, Professor Oak's like, wait, don't go out. Uh, it's unsafe and wild Pokemon live in tall grass. So we're just gonna go with him. And right to the lab. I don't, I really have never tried going to the lab before. But, who cares? So, um, let's see, just need real quick for some reason. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. That's just like Timmy. <laughs> Timmy, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Rob. There are three Pokemon here. Haha, <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. Uh, but now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps. No fair. What about me? Be patient, Timmy. You could have one, too. Something I've neglected to tell you guys. I'm playing Nuz Nuzlocke style. <laughs> I'm going to be playing Nuzlocke style anyway. So, I'm going to probably want the easiest choices in the game. So, seeing as the first... So, seeing as the first gym is Rock, and then I have the Cave, Mount Moon, my best bet is probably Squirtle. And also, it's kind of my favorite of the three. Then Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is my second favorite. I just never really liked Charmander. So, this is Charmander... Or, no, no, no. This is Bulbasaur. This is Squirtle. Yep. Let me just show all three. Just, just for you scrubs. This is Bulbasaur. He's very easy to raise. Uh, he is a grass Pokemon, which is perfect for the first two gyms, but not so much for Mount Moon. Uh, this is perfect. This is Squirtle, he's a water type. He's perfect for the first gym and just awesome all around. And this is Charmander. The first two gyms are rock and water, so good luck to you if you choose Charmander. That's why I'm going with the Squirtile. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be our poke, the Pokemon Squirtle. It's very quite energetic, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's give a nick. We have to give a nick nickname to it because that's the rules of Lana's Lock Challenge. And just to keep the spirit alive, I'm going to er to name him after one of my YouTube compadres. It'll let's see. So, oh, it's a girl, so it means I should probably name Nips after it. No, but that's just that's not cool. Um. It's a girl. God, that's kind of annoying. I can't think of a name. Shit. Uh, you know what? For this, you know what? I'll, I'll make this a little more interesting than your average Nuzlocke. I'll name them after League of Legends champion, I suppose. So I guess this will be Nautilus, because he's big and tanky. No, but it's a freaking boy. God damn it! Is there a girl League of Legends? Here, let me think. I'm gonna think of a good nickname. Screw it. I decided to name it Nips just because um, oh, it's hilarious. To mess with the guy. So yeah, I'll leave. I guess I'll leave his link in the description as well. So he's Nips, N I P Z. Except if you do like Nips at Nah, but that's stupid. Nips, Nips the girl Squirtle. All right, I'll take this one then. Cool. So you received the Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. Uh, because he's a little dick. So uh, remember that potion we picked up? That might be useful. So let's but first let's check the nature. Hardy nature. That is one of the natures that has no effect on your Pokemon. So, I'm pretty sure anyway. Because off the top of my head, I'm, I could probably tell you that that's the, one of the natures that doesn't do anything along with Bashful, Quiet, or no, Bashful, uh, and Docile. And, uh, yeah. So let's give this a try, this first rival battle. Wait, Rob, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Alright, so since I got that potion in the beginning, unless he crits me four times, I, I, I'll probably kill him. Because <laughs> that'd be pretty embarrassing if I didn't. So yeah, um, oh for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Rob, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Pokemon battles where the trainers put pit their Pokemon against each other. That's not a very good way of describing it. The trainer makes the other Pokemon, trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero. Wins. 
But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. All right, Nips, let's see what we can do. Tail whip because I am a scrub. Um, lowering the foe stats will put you at an advantage. Use tackle, no biggie. Yeah, it did three. So uh, now we can just wreck him. Boom! Lots of damage. Ha 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 ha! Not really. Uh, so yeah, we still have that potion. So yeah, all right, we're doing okay. Critical hit. Let's let's see how much did that do. It did seven. So I don't really feel like risking it for the biscuit. So I'm gonna heal up. Because it's the first battle, and I don't really care. Keep browsing your Pokemon HP. Yeah, and he'll die in this game. So awesome. Yeah, three. Okay. Uh, one more. Okay, use Growl. I don't really care at this point. I kind of won. Oh wow. Hey, that definitely happens, right? Yeah, missing tackles for days. All right. Um, one and two. That is the rival battle, and we live with over half. Booyah. So, um, yeah, that's level 6 for you. Special defense plus 2, max HP plus 2, and then a bunch of plus 1s. It's not bad. Okay, so yeah, maybe Hardy is... I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not special defensive, but I don't know. Uh, uh, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon grow strong. Alright, sweet. So now our score is level 6. Nips is level 6. Uh, see ya, Demi. God, am I hurt still? Nope, healed. Alright, so, uh, Professor Oak, I'm gonna go adventure some. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm gonna explain what a Nuzlocke challenge is real quick. Nuzlocke challenge is, basically, you can catch the first Pokemon in each route. Like, and only the first Pokemon in each route. If you're, if, but not in, like, the tutorial stage of the game, because I don't even have Pokeballs or anything. So, that doesn't count. Um, if your Pokemon faints, it dies. Like, you have to release, you have to either release it or put it into a dead box. You're probably going to put it into a dead box because it's a little, like, just because I feel like then you could actually know what you had. Um, this, so, like I said, this doesn't count because we don't have any Pokeballs to catch it. So it doesn't really count as the first Pokemon in the route because we can't possibly catch it. So, yeah. Um, it literally starts, the Nuzlocke Challenge kind of really starts after Professor Oak gives you the Pokeballs. So, that's that. Like, I, I don't know, I've kind of always wanted to do a Fire Red run on, uh, Le YouTubes, but I've never really have. I never have, for some reason. Uh, I don't know, because this is actually the first working I'm, I'm, uh, ROM I've found for the game, so, yeah. Anyway, so, that was some nice little experience, and here we are in Viridian City! And I'm going to heal up, because why not? So, uh, yeah. Alright. Healed up. I want, I want to see how that transition looks because uh, I don't know. My timing isn't all that great. Ah, <sighs> yep. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. Yes, I did. Actually, I am. I am. I am awesome. His order came in. Can you take it to him? Of course. Rob received Oak's parcel. Uh, and since we're little ten-year-olds and don't want to get like hit or grounded or anything, we're just gonna not. We're just gonna comply and just take the stuff back to him. Uh, yeah, so, I'm walking around. So anyway, one of the bigger parts of Nuzlocke challenges is grinding, and if you don't know what that means, it literally means training your Pokemon to the point where you just want to, like, rip the game out of the cartridge and just kind of fast forward it somehow. Like, grinding is just an incredibly annoying process used to keep your Pokemon at high levels, but you'll probably do that off screen just to save you trouble of having to watch it. So here we are back in Oak's lab, and here's an aid. Hear that? Professor Oak has AIDS. Huh. Huh. Oh, Rob, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Yep, I do. Rob delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, the custom Pokeball. I had it I had it on order. Thank you. Timmy comes in and says, Gramps! I almost forgot. What'd you call me for? All oh, right, I have a request for you too. I'm gonna start do trying to do voices, and like it'll make it say spare me having to say like, and then da 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 said. On the desk is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on the Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high tech encyclopedia. Robin, Timmy, take these with you. 
Rob Steve, the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can't get you can't get detailed on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. I got my Pokeballs. The Nuzlocke challenge is on. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This would always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that's my dream. But I'm too old, I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fill to fulfill my dream for me. Good moving you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. I hate to say it, but the dog uh borrow the town not for my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Rob. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming to coming around to my place after this. God, Timmy's a little fucking shit, man. Screw him. Hey, thanks, Professor Oak. Um you're a great guy. Shake, shake, shake hand. Shake. You say shake hands at Pokemon. You just kind of press forward. And then I'm out. You know what? Rob said not to go see his sister. Let's do that. And then let's just end the episode there. Alright. And, uh, this has been a, a, and I know this hasn't been the greatest, most exciting 100th video ever, but it had a surprise in the end, in the beginning, which is always happy. And I guess that is game people. <laughs> Bye.